How's it going everyone and hope you're doing well. Welcome to this boot review um, and unboxing of the Puma Future. These are the play editions in FG and MG um, sole plates or plastic studs. Um, first thing we're going to talk about is just the sizing. We went for our usual sizing for the Puma Future size but we've noticed with the play as it's the lowest tier of the um, model for the Puma Futures and it's the cheapest one you should go a half size up if you have wide or very wide feet because usually Puma Futures from the match all the way up to the Ultimate Editions they actually run very wide in terms of the midfoot and also toe box area so there's a lot of space to put your feet into the boots itself and going true to size for wide and very wide feet will fit you really nicely however this one the Puma Future Play Editions um, it's actually very different compared to the three other uh, models of the Puma Futures. Because this is a lower tier, um, we went for our usual true to size. And when trying on the boots itself, as our reviewer has wide feet, um, he was unable to put on the boots himself, uh, unable to put, his, uh, put on the boots. Um, it was very, very tight in terms of the midfoot area and also toe box area. And it was just really, really uncomfortable. So for wide and very wide feet players, if you're going for these Puma Future plays uh, because it's the lowest model and it's the cheapest budget, we recommend going a half size up um, and maybe even for very wide feet to go one full size up. Do try around with the sizing and see how they feel, whether it's going to the Puma store when you try it on or other sports shoes um, shops or if you buy it online. Try on the sizings first, half to one size up and then you'll find the one that is right for you um, and is the best fit. That's why there's no on feet um, review on this video today uh, because yeah, we just couldn't put the boots on itself. Now for narrow feet types, we recommend going true to size, your usual Puma Future size. Um, may have to go a half size down if necessary, but we re reckon for these, going true to size should fit you nicely and give you a good snug fit. And then the same applies for normal feet types. Um, see how they feel, should give you a nice snug fit. Tightness in the toe box area and also the midfoot. But to play around again with normal feet types, maybe have to go also a half size up. See how they feel first before you decide to yeah, take them out onto pitch um, to play test and try them on and do it for training and, sh and passing, shooting with friends or individual training. Now it comes down to sole plates. So you can wear these on firm ground and grass pitches, real grass pitches. Um, if you play midweek football, um, you definitely can wear these as well for like five aside, seven aside kickabouts with friends. Definitely you can wear these, highly recommend it for, for these kind of occasions because the these boots are very cheap um, and you're gonna, maybe going to be using it once a week or twice a week maximum. So these boots are ideal for that kind of occasion and situation. Th then you can also wear these on artificial grass as well. We've tried them on 3G, 4G, um, also 2G like sand pitches, the really flat ones, the old school turf, you can also wear these on them. Um, nice traction and stability with the sole plates. The plastics are not too aggressive, um, very simple um, and not too high up as well in terms of the plastics of the studs. So it's very easy to yeah, move around on the artificial pitches. And even on the sand pitches, you're gonna have the advantage of wearing these over let's say like a flat turf um, pair of football shoes. You're gonna be able to have more grip and stability um, and change of direction is much more nicer. But just be careful again when wearing these, as we say, on the 2G sand pitches. Um, do give it at least one to two weeks of practice of training. Um, like not too fast paced occasions, like we can use it for shooting, passing, practice dribbling with it, just to get used to the boots itself, for the materials on the upper um, and the midfoot to soften up. And then just for you to mold into the feet, uh, the football boots itself, um, just so you're used to it. And then it's much more easier when you take it into the the match or a, a game then you know you can have less chances of injuries and risks of hurting yourself or twisting an ankle so for sure we recommend at least a minimum of one week of use for these boots before you take them into something competitive and fast paced 
just so that you've broken them into them um, and then if you feel comfortable and the materials are soften up for performance as well because sometimes when the materials soften up it feels much better in terms of like the ball control or first touch passing everything's much more in order than a much more hardened material when you take it straight out of the box and take it into something fast paced and competitive also the um, possibility of blisters um, we tried it maybe on a fast paced occasion for a match uh, after like a few days and that was the wrong choice because we got some blisters on the back of the heel um, even on the toe on the toe box area some scraping from the materials there was a bit of blisters there so again we recommend just wearing them for a week to two before you take them into something fast paced and competitive but yeah if you have a pair of these make sure to leave a comment down below on the comment section what you think um, it really helps out people when they're looking to upgrade get a new pair it really does help them out and these boots we'll be able to get them for around 40 to 50 pounds or euros and maybe even cheaper when newer colorways come out uh, maybe 30 pounds or euros if you're lucky um, but at the moment it's ranging around from 40 to 50 which is a very nice affordable price for many people so we definitely recommend these shoes for yeah anyone that anyone that wants to um, play with a boots that's control and first touch um, and nice all-round comfort just make sure to go half size up if you have wide and very wide feet and yeah thank you very much for watching this unboxing and review if you enjoyed it make sure to leave the video a like and to subscribe and we'll see you next time for another unboxing and review in the near future thank you very much and all the very best